Honorable Jacinda Aden, a very warm and heartfelt welcome to you. The Minister for Women, Fiji, Ms. Merisaini Buniwanga, Your Excellencies, the High Commissioners of New Zealand and Australia, esteemed guests, the media, all welcome. We are so privileged to have you all here, and especially you, Madam Prime Minister. We congratulate you on the many accolades you have received, all very well deserved, and especially the Pacific Person of the Year. I think that's it. Let's give her a big hand. Thank you, um, Shamima, and also to the Minister. It is an honour and a privilege to be here. I'm delighted to be part of celebrations, really, and also an acknowledgement of the critical support services that you provide to women and families at their most vulnerable time. Whilst it is ultimately tragic that our societies and our nations continue to require services to protect women and girls from violence and abuse, we pay tribute to the fact uh, that the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre has and will continue to have a huge role in improving the lives of thousands of Fijian women. Today I'd like to thank those pioneering women who championed and established the centre for their vision and determination and in creating a movement for change. In particular, I'm sure we all want to acknowledge the FWCC's coordinator, Shamima Ali, whom, as we know, has been the key architect of SWCC's development since the very beginning. And so on behalf of many thousands of women, Shamima, we honour you and the difference you are making, not just here, but in the world, and what a legacy you have built in promoting women's rights and human rights. Thank you also to the many women and men <laughs> involved in supporting and delivering the services of the Women's Crisis Centre. I am a strong believer, as a feminist, that everyone who believes in equality and fairness and social justice is a feminist too, and that we need to create an inclusive movement where we bring men with us in the journey to make sure that women have those equal rights and they have the most basic right of safety. It, um, it brings me great pleasure to, to be here today, to be part of this very important event. I know we're here to acknowledge building and the services that come with it. And for that, I'd like to um, thank the New Zealand government and the Australian government for your continued support to gender equality, the empowerment of women, and particularly on the elimination of violence against women in Fiji. I'd like to ask to think about and acknowledge the many lives, the survivors of violence, women and children, that will pass through these corridors in the years to come. And I'm particularly thankful that the police are here with us, one of our first line responders in relation to violence against women. In a few years' time, we will be looking at the statistics in relation to violence, and we will all be the happier for it. So I thank you, on behalf of the Fijian government, for the support rendered to government and to the thousands of Fijian women and girls in our common quest to eliminate violence against women and girls. Good night.